Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to draw Morty from Rick and Morty, uh, the Adult Swim cartoon. This is going to be easy and for beginners. So if you're a complete beginner, you should be able to do this all the way through. Uh, I'm going to be using this. This is a Crayola brand marker. It comes in those big sets or whatever that you can get anywhere. Uh, but if not, you can go check it. You can get it on Amazon. You can click the... I have a link on Amazon in the description. You can go buy it there. Uh, also, paper-wise, this is uh, computer printing paper. So you should already have that probably. But if, if not, you can buy this in gigantic bulks. I even have a link for that too, but you probably have printing paper, I'm gonna guess. Okay, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a circular shape for Morty's head. And this is gonna be, by the way, just like a head drawing, a head with like maybe upper torso. If you want his entire body, I can do maybe another video for it. Just request it. So do a shape that's basically a circle uh, and leave a bit open here. And here's the thing about that circle. So be careful with it. It's, it's, um, it can be pretty hard to do, I understand. But if you get something near it, it's fine. You know, it's completely fine. You don't have to do a complete circle. It can be, com it's like drawing Jack Skellington, right? You don't have to be a complete circle, like a total circle. You're not a machine, but just get something close and it'll, it'll read. Um, gonna go over here to the ear. And it's essentially just kind of like a C curve, real easy bump. <laughs> Gonna go uh, to the eye. And so the eye is, you have to be very aware of the proportion. I would say the eye is, uh, you could fit almost three eyes across, I would say. Another circle shape. Yeah, I'm thinking out part of it here. And another circle shape here for the other eye. Dot over here, where is I? Dot over here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna be posting three beginner drawings uh, every weekday. So you don't wanna miss it. Please subscribe and it'll let you know. It'll, it won't let you know about all of them. It'll let you know about some of them. Uh, one thing I wanna implore is that it is uh, just, there's no downside to it. So if you subscribe, it's completely free. There's no downside. Uh, and it tends to help out the channel as well. It brings the algorithm up in general and just kind of, you know, it's, it's good for just the channel all around. Uh, if you find my stuff worth your time, you know, please consider uh, subscribing. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's do the nose. The nose is going to be a small C curve as well. Gonna draw a. I'm gonna draw him like mid talking, pretty much. It's gonna look like a, you know, what? I, I don't know. It, it's just gonna look like a banana shape, I guess. I don't know what to say about that one. It's maybe like a pickle, but you're gonna fill it in. So you're gonna you're gonna fill it in. It's gonna be a negative shape right here. I'm gonna go to the far side and draw the far side ear. And I'm gonna draw his hair. So his hair is gonna start over here, kind of go upward. His hair, his design is so interesting. It's, it's, um, and it, that doesn't even have to be straight. It's not even straight in the cartoon, actually. But don't worry about that. And I'm going to draw his shirt. Draw a line here. Draw a line here. Line right here for his armpit. 
button right here for his other armpit. I guess I could draw like the shirt as well coming down, down, line here, line here for his arm sticking out from the bottom of his shirt. And then I'm gonna draw his eyebrows, which are just straight lines. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thicken the line everywhere. Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, it, it kind of needs it just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm gonna thicken the line all over. While I'm doing that, I'll talk to you real quick. And you, you could do the same thing. I just, I thought this marker, this marker draws a little thin. I think it's kind of my issue sometimes. Um, what was I gonna talk to you about? Oh yeah. Uh, if you do like what I'm doing here, please, uh, and you do, if you do want to help the channel, uh, please consider sharing a video. Uh, sharing the video uh, just brings a lot of momentum to the entire channel uh, all around. Uh, it just helps out and it brings a lot of good vibes to the channel. I notice when somebody shares it because it just swells, this, this good vibe swells. And what it does is it brings in more people and more people comment. And then when more people comment, it, it keeps me entertained uh, because doing this is entertaining but doing this is really hard on me every day because I draw treat uh, I do three of these lessons a day and it's really everything is me I do everything I do the editing I do the drawing um, I do the posting I write all the descriptions um, every day uh, I do everything this is like a full-time this is a full-time job for me and it just kind of feels a lot better when I talk to people it, like when I talk to people in the comments just knowing that they're there knowing that they're watching it just really helps my mood out and it just makes it like worth it for me um, not to, you know, sound like a sappy person, but it makes it all worth it. And yeah, that's just the truth. So every time you share that, it does make the whole experience worth it for me. Um, and it's worth it no matter what, because it's fun to do. I love the drawing part. It's uh, the editing that's that's kind of the part that's uh, draining. And then the writing, you know, if I could just draw, oh, that'd be so much better. If I could just do the drawing lessons. Oh my God, so much better. So let me talk to you really quick about line. So line is really important because you want to get your lines as clean as possible. And when you're drawing with this marker, right, it, it tends to draw thinner. Uh, it might look a little wiggly and that's not a big deal, but you want to make a, is as straight as possible, right? A few things you can do to control it better is you drew, you practice, and I've said this many times, do circles like on a separate sheet of paper, right? Do circles counterclockwise and clockwise, maybe like ellipses, you know, like at different angles and different sizes. Doing that uh, will really give you a lot of um, dexterity and will give you a lot of muscle memory. So try that out and do it with, see how I'm moving my arm right here? I'm moving my shoulder and my elbow. When you write, you anchor, you anchor this and you write like this. And some people do that even with drawing, which you, I, I mean, I do it sometimes, right? When you're doing small things, but you're kind of moving along here. See how, see that? See how I'm moving my, like I'm going along here. I can draw this over here, boom, boom, here. It's like you're a machine of some kind, right? You're moving your whole shoulder and your elbow along with it. And you wanna be able to do that and not get stuck here. And somebody's like, oh no, I'm gonna do this, you know? Uh, you know. So try to practice that and that'll really give you a lot of control. But thank you so much, I appreciate you watching. This has been Easy Pictures to Draw and uh, you've been great. And I will comment, I'll reply to every single comment. I will talk to you later.